and welcome to Study IQ English. Welcome to today's current affairs episode. And let's talk about a very interesting development that has happened in the state of Punjab. Now, we all know that in the past few years, Punjab has been dealing with acute drug abuse crisis. Naturally, the location of Punjab is such that it has an easy access to the drug trafficking network, which is smuggled consistently through its borders from countries like Afghanistan, Iran, as well as Pakistan. Off late, the smugglers seem to have become only smarter. They are using the AI technology, the drone technology, to smuggle in minute quantities of drug, but on a routine basis across the Indian border in the state of Punjab. And hence, as a preventive and combat measure to solve the problem of this drug crisis, the government of the state has decided to introduce the Baz Ark drone, which in English translates into the hawk's eye. And as the name suggests, the purpose of this anti-drone system is to tackle the problem of drug menace by combating, by intercepting all the drones that come into India's border carrying small or large quantities of dangerous drugs like opium, heroin and many more. So, this is a major step in the state to combat the drug racket here. And also because Punjab is sharing a massive border with Pakistan, this initiative will definitely revolutionize the efforts of the police, the efforts of the BSF in combating the drug import, the drug in smuggling into the state border. So recently the government said that Baj Ark or the anti-drone system known as ADS will have to be deployed very smartly along the international border so that most of the people, the drug peddlers are not aware of its existence and precise location so that they do not oversmart the system. This initiative forms another attempt at Punjab government's war against drug abuse, the anti-drug campaign of Punjab. So Punjab, we all know, is sharing an extremely sensitive land border with Pakistan. Because of that, in this 553-kilometer long border, it's very easy for the drug peddlers and drug smugglers to find porous hotspots from where they keep sending in either arms or narcotics or any other psychotropic substances through these easy to enter areas. In the recent years, the favorite technology being used by these drug peddlers has become drone because drones are lightweight, very difficult to detect. They have the capacity of not only carrying a heavy load, but also extremely tiny loads up to a certain grams only. Without anybody's noticing, these are entering across the border and the deal seems to be going on very smoothly in the underbelly of the police and the armed forces. So today, in 2024, the government says that through this technology, Indian government or the Punjab government was able to intercept about 283 drones that were carrying dangerous addictives like heroin, various weapons as well as ammunition. We all know that this area has been very sensitive also due to the Khalistani insurgency. So therefore, the purpose of this anti-drone technology could be doubled, not only for internal security, but also for mitigating the drug crisis. Talking about the features of this Baj Ark, the Baz Ark or the anti-drone system that has been now called as the Hawk Eye by Punjab, it is having a very sophisticated advanced inbuilt system to detect any movement of drone in a given territory where it is implanted. Also, it can also remotely control the various ground stations and lead to a better coordination between forces from one station into another. It automatically creates an alert system, an alarm system to make the authorities aware and cautious whenever it feels there is any drone movement. And whenever there is a need for physical manual intervention, the system will let the police forces know. The system also 
then becomes a second line of defense. It becomes like a buffer system of defense because already the border security forces along with Punjab police are trying their best to intervene in the problem. Now, equipped with this technology, yes, just in 2024, they have seen a massive success by catching so many smuggling attempts. So in future also, it could mean a huge promise to tackle this chronic problem in the region. Of course, the army and the air force will be giving their inputs as well. So we all know that Punjab being quite physically near to drug hotspots like Pakistan, like Iran, like Afghanistan, it is vulnerable. It is in a very fragile situation. It's very, very easy for its porous borders to be penetrated with arms, drugs and various kinds of narcotics, of course. So today, as we talk about this very interesting development, we also should know about the Narcotics, Drug and Psychotrophic Substances Act 1985. It is an age-old act in India, but the purpose was to prohibit any individual from engaging in an activity that deals with either the production of a drug, any kind of psychotropic substance, any narcotic, its production, its supply, its cultivation, commercial scale, distribution, purchase, even storage in your house or in your workplace. And of course, consumption as well. All these are outlawed. These are all prohibited under this act. The objective is to make it easy for the government easy for the concerned authorities to take preventive actions by creating strong laws so that people do not, especially the young teens, the young teenagers, adolescents who are very vulnerable to being hacked by, to being attracted by the drug peddlers or by the anti-Indian uh, you know, groups, extremist groups. It's very crucial for them that this act strictly implements the anti-narcotic laws. So now, on that note, it is good to know that what do we even mean by narcotic or psychotropic substances? Now, the one thing is that they are extremely addictive. No wonder in Punjab, majority of those who are facing the side effect of addiction are generally people from the age group of 14 to 40. These are the young population. It could mean danger by also threatening the workforce potential of the state. So, narcotic drug means something related to cannabis, as we call it, hemp, of course, opium, any kind of poppy straw, all these and various other drugs that are further refined and manufactured on the basis of this. Then, psychotropic substances would mean synthetic or naturally occurring materials that are coming under the prohibited psychotropic substance list in the mentioned schedule under the act. So all these are definitely prohibited by the government. And with that, let's quickly have a look at today's question. The question is based on the narcotics control in India. It says, with reference to the narcotics control in India, consider these statements. The first statement says, the Narcotics Control Bureau is a statutory body under the Ministry of Home Affairs. The second statement says India is a signatory, which means India has signed up, agreed to all three United Nations conventions on drug control. This is really very important. Of course, in light with your GS paper two, internal security, governance. Then comes the statement number three. The Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act 1985 allows for the cultivation of opium poppy for medical and only scientific purposes, but of course not for consumption or sale. So these are the three statements. It's an easy question. You need to pick out which of these are or is valid. In case you are able to solve the question, do post your answer in the comment box to hear back from me. And stay tuned for all other such interesting current affairs update that we bring to you only on Study IQ English. Thank you.